New York Times reported Friday that Fox News has not had Donald Trump on its network in over 100 days, which the paper said was part of a larger strategy to eliminate former president, the former president as a major GOP player. Absolutely. I concur 100%. And you can see from what I just laid out in the previous stories that these folks, they don't want investigations into, into what it, uh, their, their supporters have demonstrated and deem and believe is fraud. They don't want that. And why do they not want that? Because their financial backers are not going to give them money if they investigate the fraud in elections. Because as even though fraud in elections is going to undermine all of the candidates you put forward, it will throw some light onto Donald Trump throughout the totality of those investigations and the coming elections, including the one that Donald Trump may very well participate in. Hating him there, all the way up to uh, Cheney and recruiting Democrats who obviously hate Donald Trump. She hates Donald Trump. All the way over to the Republicans demonstrating that, hey, we can cheat here and see it actually what we claimed can be done. And uh, then the Republican Party saying, that was the wrong thing to do. We don't want you demonstrating how you can cheat in elections. We don't want you to demonstrate that. So we're going to be okay with the Democrats coming and, and uh, uh, pr prosecuting you at the federal level if the local sheriff won't do it. We're finding another way within the state to be able to prosecute you if the local sheriff won't do it. In fact, I think the sheriff said, uh, they were, the sheriff was asked if he was going to press charges. And I think his response was, hell no, quote, hell no, close quote, must also be another king for Western kind. And now you see Fox News itself, where so many rank and file conservatives uh, and uh, party players, you know, out funders uh, and uh, nationalists, et cetera, patriots, they cast their votes again and again. And they look to Fox News to give them what's going on in the world, a little bit of a better look, a little bit of a better shake than they're going to get from everything else, just a tiny bit. And Fox News itself participating in excluding Donald Trump, wanting to go back to the GOP prior to the arrival of Donald Trump and him shaking everything up. Whatever, whatever he was saying, I mean, it was a dog whistle, the de deceptive dog whistle will make America great again. And therefore, wink, wink, I care about you white people, too. Maybe that was just deception, but it woke up a lot of white people, didn't it? Made a lot of white people said we can we can make a change here in America. We can actually uh, be in charge of what's happening to us. We don't have to just be the victims for the totality of our existence. We don't have to just watch everything being white erased from our civilization that we created for us. And yeah, you can look back to the founding of the country, my friends. Get the anti-whites to go have a look and tell you where the founding fathers said it was for the world. Didn't write that anywhere. But then when they did, the very first Congress they said, who's, who's uh, citizenship for? Well, pretty easy. White male's a good character. So that's who the, that is who the country was created for. And then we allowed others. And then we allowed others. That means we should be celebrated. We should be thanked for that. People should say, well, I'm, I'm a guest. I should not uh, try to recreate and white erase him from his own house. The white population stood up and said no more, and their vehicle was going to be the Republican Party through which to do that because they thought for all along that the Republican Party stood up for them. And they've been wrong, and the Republican Party now is doing everything it can. Think about this. Everything it can to exclude that sentiment, to exclude that interest. The interest of what? The interest in the well-being of the founding stock of America. Western kind. Every white person on planet Earth carries America inside them because it's the, it, it, is, it is of our bio spirit. It doesn't exist in the world without us. There ain't no America 
without Western kind. And this is what the Republican Party, the concern for those people, this is what the Republican Party wants to exclude. If you can't get to Liz Cheney with these questions I talked about, videotaping them, then you have to humiliate her. You have to ridicule, aim all of your vitriol, just nothing but jokes burning her to the ground. If you could hire an actress that looks like her, put her in bed as a whore in a whorehouse and then say, oh, I've, I've got to vote. I've got to vote. You know, I've got to go help out the Democrats some more. I've got some more anti-white legislation I have to work on. Uh, let me just take this thing off my waist so that I can get to it. Humiliate them. Make them seem as trivial and pathetic and uh, as traitorous as they are, and then their constituencies won't vote for them. Don't aim any of your dollars, your ridicule, uh, et cetera, your vitriol at Democrats, at anti-whites up in their, in their penthouses, in their castles, in their white towers, their black towers, stained with soot of Western civilization on fire. Don't blame it. Don't, don't aim any of it at them. Aim it at all of these anti-whites that are uh, rhinos or just purporting to care about uh, the country and dog whistling their ass, deceptive dog whistling their asses off to every single one of us. Trump's last appearance on Fox News came April 13 on Hannity. I mean, can you imagine as dickless and anti-white as Hannity could be? And even Hannity is not having Trump on. Hannity, who has Trump's phone number and picked up the phone and said to Trump, supposedly said to Trump, uh, you should give a presidential pardon to Biden's son. So that uh, it will be seen as like this good gesture and then the Democrats will be good to you in response. And then I can go out to the Republicans on my TV show that are watching my TV show and tell them how morally we superior we are because we lose. And when we lose, we give pardons to their worst offenders. Even Hannity won't have him. But it says here, the Times noted, even Trump has complained. His longtime friend, quote, doesn't seem to be paying him much attention anymore. Listen, Donald, President Donald Trump, listen up. Give me your number. I'll give you my number. This is serious. I'm serious right now. I know some of your staff are watching. You don't accidentally start using my verbiage uh, when no one else says the things I'm saying. You don't accidentally start doing it just by chance. Just by chance, and well, unless unless the same God that's talking in my ear is talking in yours. But otherwise, you have staff listening. So here up. Let's exchange numbers. And I am a genius. I will tell you, and a badass. I will tell you exactly what you have to do. You give me all the info that I need to know to compute the response, and we will win. Period. End of conversation. So whoever from Trump staff is listening right now, however many, maybe it's Donald himself, bring me on board. We will win. No more fucking around. You know they can't hate you any more than they already do. So for them to say, and, and trust this, we want them to say, well, Donald brought on a guy that represents white well-being. Please, please, let's have them do that. Let's have them do that, and you will have more than 80 million votes. God almighty. Trump brought on a guy that has a YouTube channel uh, where he objects for the last uh, uh, two plus decades of his life to something called anti-whiteism. Yes, Donald, let's have them say that all over the news. Let's have them say that. And then, you know, whenever it gets, whenever it feels like too hot or whatever, you fire me, right? That's how you work. That's how reality works. I get it. But the, the good that we will do in the time that I'm with you, they will write songs about. The paper said Trump believes Fox's strategy of shunning him, Donald Trump, is an effort in, quote, effectively displacing him from the news cycle and as de facto leader of the Republican Party, which he is. He was the president of the United States. He came out of nowhere 
and against the Republican establishment with the will of the Republican electorate made him the president of the United States against all odds. The decision to shun Trump has been made at, quote, the highest levels, close quote, of Fox's parent company. And we're going to if they don't talk about it in this article, we will talk about it in just a moment uh, of Fox's parent company and is backed by its billionaire chairman, Rupert Murdoch. Rupert, uh, how is he still alive? Isn't he just a corpse in a uh, in a morgue somewhere? Murdoch. I mean, he looks that I've, I've definitely seen corpses look better. I've seen corpses look go through incineration, look better than Rupert Murdoch and his son, uh, company CEO Lachlan uh, of the Loch Ness Monster, uh, Murdoch, Lachlan Murdoch. Both are Republicans. Does, does, what, what else do you need to know? What else do you need to know? Both are Republicans. Uh, but are said to have developed a strong distaste for Trump. I think probably they they get their Republican title uh, from uh, all the time they spend in Israel. I think maybe that's where they are. They are maybe Republican means something very different in Hebrew. Earlier this month, the Murdoch owned newspaper, the New York Post and the Wall Street Journal published harsh rebukes. So. Earlier this month, the Murdoch-owned newspapers, the New York Post, and the Wall Street Journal. So it tells you the power of media. What needs to be done with media when we get somebody in charge? Are you going to allow... Somebody in charge is going to represent us. Somebody like, maybe on Tuesday, I'll talk about it. Maybe on Tuesday. Remind me. Remind me on Tuesday. I'll talk about what I would do if I were in charge. Uh, and that could be a, another important thing that Trump could do for for America. The people of all immutable characteristics, just look at two decades worth of speeches, live streaming, uh, writing books, et cetera. Just look at it to find out if if this is my real position or not. Bring me on board. And uh, once I'm in office, people will people will remember. They'll say, my God, who's that really handsome guy that and then the pictures will get released of me. Uh, like uh, Putin on the horse, except I'm all shredded and the pictures will be released of me, you know, in a punching bag and, and all of this. And people will say, my God, Trump has brought in uh, the uh, the superheroes to uh, to take on the anti-whites. Then after he fires me, everybody will remember who I am. And then after he's gone, then I run. And wow, they remember the guy who made big change. And uh, then I get an office and I'm able to take care of media issues. So you see here, Murdoch owned gets to decide what news is. Harsh rebukes of Trump's actions regarding January 6th. What is that now? Patriots Day. While strongly opposing a Trump bid for president in 2024. Published harsh rebukes of Trump's actions regarding January. Patriots Day, regarding Patriots Day, while strongly opposing a Trump bid for president in 2024. Now, that is not for Murdoch's readers, because the vast majority of Americans, the vast majority, you're never going to hear their voices, because Murdoch owns the only papers that are and, and, and media that would even deviate a hair from the fanatical Get rid of all white people right now, media, that is the totality of the rest of news entertainment media. So the rest, everybody knows, everybody you talk to, who's not just uh, parroting a, uh, what they've heard on CNN, MSNBC, et cetera, they'll say, no, we don't care. We do not care. We want America to remain America. We want the border to be closed. We want all of these intruders, people who are not invited, even though they're all wonderful, to go home. We want a lot of others to go home as well. We want uh, to have no more unemployment because there just aren't enough jobs and therefore excess population has to go. This is what people care about. They don't care whether or not. And then and then the, the speech did. I want I wonder if Murdoch printed the actual speech, if they played the actual speech that Trump gave, or are they giving us their interpretations? My guess is that they probably never printed the speech, probably never played the audio anywhere, or if they did, they did once, and then they've given us hundreds of thousands of interpretations since then. 
So what are they doing? That is called brainwashing. That is brainwashing. How are you going to allow this? If you brainwash, what, you, the democracy, democracy, how do you have democracy when you're telling people what to think about everything in the world? How do you allow those people to get away with democracy? Earlier this month, so, so they post harsh rebukes of Trump's actions regarding Patriots Day, and uh, they've been strongly opposing a Trump bid for president in 2024. I mean, writing's all over the wall. The Times said Trump's failure to accept the 2020 election result was at root at the root of the Murdoch's criticism of the former president, a view shared by Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, and he should lose his seat. Everybody in Kentucky needs to come out and vote this guy out of office. If you're a Republican, come out and vote for the Democrat. Vote for the Democrat. Every Republican in Kentucky, send McConnell home. Send a message to the Republican Party that white people are not putting up with it anymore. No more deceptive dog whistling. We don't want to hear it. No more, anti no more white male or white female faces in office if they don't care about white people. That's another big problem is white people in office, that in and of itself is a dog whistle. It's a deceptive dog whistle. You got a white face, and then all the, this is what I talked about way back when I was on the Hill, when Bush Jr. wasn't doing anything for white. And I said, this is bullshit. Why is, he's a white man in office, and all of these people think that white people are being served because a white people are, a white guy is in office, and he couldn't hate us more. I mean, we should make sure that it's all non-white Democrats in office. If the white people that are going to be there are not actually going to care about white people. Are you hearing me, Republican electorate? And I'm going to get in on ridiculing conservative and Republican uh, content creators, these misleaders who mislead the Republican and conservative rank and file down these dead end alleys, down these alleys to the bloody wood chipper ending for America and Western civilization. I'm going to get in on it, too. We all have to be involved. Mitch McConnell. Trump has not hidden his new distaste for Fox News, as though he could. Come on, he's Donald Trump. Shortly after his loss to Joe Biden, Trump blamed the network's negative coverage of his presidency for his 2020 election loss. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, they, they were not... Uh, they attempted, they hid behind, Fox News hid behind this pretext that they just wanted to appear impartial so that their audience would stay with them. That's not what their audience wants. That's not what we want or need for Western kind. You have every other media outlet who are rabid supporters and cheerleaders for Democrats. The population wants some rabid supporters and cheerleaders for Donald Trump and these America first policies, actually America first. And don't, and don't say America first and then go say that uh, Israel is uh, the, the most important thing because that's not America first. And then, of course, calling the election and uh, what was it? Nevada, I guess Fox News did that. Unless I'm wrong, go look it up for yourself. And this week, Trump blasted Fox and Friends on his Truth Social account for being, quote, terrible and having, quote, gone to the dark side. Yeah, I agree. And, and that is that's very telling because there were a couple places on Fox that the the entirety of the platform of the company uh, didn't like Trump at, at, at any point. But there were a couple places that did, and I guess their personalities uh, or, you know, whoever it is on the inside were able to, for a time to defend Trump's appearances and saying something positive about Trump on their shows. Fox and Friends was one of those locations. Not anymore. The heat has come down from the top, and they've said, I guess, uh, here are your walking papers. So either you stop with the positive stuff about Trump and you're not bringing him on, uh, anymore, or you can take these and hit the road. 
that must be what has happened. So I guess it's probably from their show's producer on that on down. Trump suggested former House Speaker, and here it is. And we're going to be going to break in just a moment, getting to those tools that you can use in your life. House Speaker Paul Ryan's sitting on Fox Corp's board of directors is behind the shadow banning of Trump. It 100% is. Paul Ryan has hated Trump from day one. He is a rabid anti-white. Paul Ryan, rabidly anti-white. He thought he was going to be able to be president one day. And then Trump came along and became president. Trump's not rabidly anti-white. And Trump took the presidency. Paul Ryan is rabidly anti-white and immoral as all hell. I'll tell you in a moment. And wanted to be president, and then he didn't get to be president. He then went over, and he chairs this board over at Fox News. His decisions are him, and and why was he why was he allowed to be there, and why was that will allowed to be present? Because of the Murdochs' will, the people who own. So here, have, here you have Ryan, Paul Ryan who was supposedly a servant of the people, uh, put there by rank-and-file Republicans. And I'm going to tell you what, all over the Hill, I'm not going to tell you this as a fact, uh, but I will tell you what is known all over the Hill, what is perceived to be known all over the Hill, that this man was a rapist. He used his power to force interns, uh, scores and scores of them, to give him sexual pleasures and to have sex with him at every office he held. Everyone on the Hill knows this about Paul Ryan. He is a vulgar, disgusting, anti-white bastard. Now, maybe it's not true. Maybe none of it's true, right? Maybe what everybody says, maybe all of the women who say that they were forced to have sex with him, were forced to give him oral sex, uh, were forced to do all these things for him, Uh, Maybe all that's false. Maybe they are all lying. But uh, then again, maybe it's all true. Because maybe I might even know somebody personally. So this, this is a villainous piece of shit, Paul Ryan. Everybody should remember that about him. Especially his wife. Especially his family should know that about him. That this is what this guy's been up to. Using his immense power uh, in federal government and his immense wealth. He thinks everybody is beneath him, and then every new pretty female that walks through the door, he rapes. I call it rape, because when you force yourself on someone from a position of power, and they really don't have an alternative, I see that as rape. I personally see that as rape. You don't have to be beating the woman up. You don't have to be uh, you know, ripping her clothes off and beating her up for that to be rape. Uh, I feel that any of those scenarios is rape, and uh, uh, if that's what he was doing, if that was actually if all of the all of the voices, all of the claims, all of the knowledge on the Hill about this is true, then he was doing it. And that, in my opinion, makes him a rapist. So remember that about Paul Ryan, especially all you donors who gave him so much money. Let's make sure that they know that about this rapist that as old as he is. You have these interns, some of whom may have been minors, some of whom may have been under 18 when he raped them. So if anybody needs to go down for being a rapist and using their power and using their wealth to force women into sex, it's this guy. And I'm going to go ahead and guarantee you, since this was his behavior all over the hill for his entire time that he worked in federal government, It's what's said. It's what's out there. I don't know for sure. I didn't watch it myself firsthand. If this was his behavior for the entire time on the Hill, then it's what he's doing right now over there at Fox. There will be there will be interns. There will be uh, people working there, women who will be uh, being raped by him because he is a sick son of a bitch. And this is the kind of person that is shadow banning Forget about Trump is just the avatar. Trump is the avatar for you and me. Trump is just a face for you and me. So when Murdoch and this rapist, Paul Ryan, remember, 
It's my opinion of rape. And if those things are true that are said about him, then I believe that's rape. This rapist are banning him, Trump, the avatar. They're banning you and me. They're banning us. Why are they banning us? Because they don't want Western kind to be able to defend itself. They don't want Western kind to be able to stand up and say no more. They don't want Western kind to stop the victimization of Western kind and the totality of the West here in the United States. They don't want America to continue as America. They like this new anti-white direction. They want nothing but the victimization of white people. And it's white women who are getting raped by Paul Ryan. So when they, when, when Murdoch's and Paul Ryan, their lackey bitch, and uh, these Linares and, and find friend men, whatever their names are, and these Republicans at, at all levels are doing everything they can to stop everything associated with Donald Trump. They are doing everything they can to stop our victimization. That is how you should know every one of them here forward. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.